Hello. Yeah. Nice day. Bit damp underfoot, but we're fine. So in this video, I want to talk about surviving the lockdown. I'm not sure when I'll upload this, but um, probably a day or two before, but as you know, we're going into lockdown again on uh, Guy Fawkes. Quite typical, isn't it? Guy Fawkes day or night, the 5th of November. So I just thought I'd talk for a minute about surviving the lockdown. Um, apart from the obvious, make sure you've got enough food, toilet rolls, <laughs> things like that to get by. I laugh when I say toilet rolls because we've got thousands. We had a situation where I live where um, we all ran out of toilet rolls for, well, for a number of days. And I remember I had half a toilet roll at one stage. And somebody said, you haven't got a toilet roll, have you? So I decided from that day onwards to, um, every time I shop or get my shopping delivered, get a few extra tins, a few extra packets, a few extra toilet rolls, things like that. And now we're pretty much well catered for. So that's the obvious, isn't it, really? Make sure you've got enough stuff. And uh, if you... I don't know, you pay for your gas and electric and things, but make sure you've got enough stuff just to see you by, really. It's all the obvious things. And as I said with the other lockdown, communication as well. Remain in contact with your loved ones, with your friends, family, neighbours. Because we all go through, yeah. Sorry, we all go through it together. Although it'd be different for every single person, but it's we're all going through the same kind of situation. So just the odd phone call, the odd text, whatever, to whoever. But I personally think that there's four things, right? Four things that we need to do every day, and that is take a break, take a breather and think about these four things and it's mental health, physical health, emotional health and spiritual health is those four things. And ask yourself, how am I doing? Am I okay? So your mental health, <coughs> you've got your mental health, your um, physical health, your emotional health and your spiritual health. Um, <clears throat> so you ask yourself, how am I doing? Am I doing okay? My mental health, how am I doing? And if you feel a bit jittery, if you're panicking, if you're not coping too well, what can I do about that? Can I do some meditation? Can I do some deep breathing? What can I do? Is there something I can do? Hello, my friends. And there's lots that you can do for your, for your mental health. Then ask yourself, what about my physical health? How am I doing? Have I got up today? Have I moved? Have, have I been on a bimble? Have I exercised? If so, how long for? Did I feel my lungs breathing deeply? Did my heart beat well? How long for? Was it an hour? 20 minutes? 5 minutes? That's your... Hello! <laughs> Glorious here. Lovely sky. Beautiful sky at the moment. It's going to rain later. It's rained this morning. So, you're doing mental health. 
You've had a look at your physical health. Can I get up and can I move? What shall I do? If I've got an exercise bike, uh, some weights, uh, whatever. Just go out for a walk. Can I just walk up and down the stairs for half an hour? And it's worth asking that question, your mental health, your physical health, as we've just decided, just discussed. Wow, this is dark in here. Where are we, look? It's incredible. Loving it. Now, your emotional health is a tricky one, because going through this lockdown, you can... Spend too much time alone, too much time indoors, and too much time thinking, worrying, cogitating, deliberating. And you can end up thinking, I haven't heard from whoever, my daughter, my son, my friend, I haven't ordered from, uh, heard from this person for a while. And that can play mind games. Did I piss them off in the last phone call? Have I phoned them too many times? That's all your emotional health. <laughs> wow, this is lovely. I'm liking it in here. And then we come to your spiritual health, which a lot of people ignore, and it's just as important as any other health. Your spiritual health, take care of your wellness, of your well being, of your spiritual well being by doing some meditating. And just sitting quietly, deep breathing, calming the body down. The beginning of the last lockdown, I did six or seven, I think it was seven, meditation sessions, and one of them was it was about healing really but it was about how's the body doing and uh, how to have a, a total deep relaxation in just 15 minutes and you start off at the feet close your eyes you sit steady nice and still nice and quiet a few breaths and you think about your feet and you calm them down and you think about your muscles in the feet and you relax those muscles and you move that up into the calves and think about the muscles there and just release them, relax and you do that all the way through the body and that's a beautiful spiritual way of taking care of yourself. And I think if you do that once a day and you stop yourself and you think okay my mental health my spiritual health, my emotional health, um, and my, what was it, mental health, physical health, uh, emotional health and spiritual health. So you've got four things. And by taking care of those four things, you find that your day goes easier, your mind is settled and calm and peaceful. Little seat there on that tree. You can get out and bimbo in the woods. What does that do? That takes care of your mental health, your physical health, and your spiritual health. Just 10 minutes, 20 minutes, whatever you can do. So, how to survive the lockdown is to have a bit of structure in your life as well. Not hard and fast, but a little bit of structure. So, I go to bed at roughly this time, whatever time you're comfortable with. I try and stick to it, roughly. So about 11 o'clock or whatever. I try and do that every single day, seven days for... Um, every single day for 30 days is the lockdown, so they say. Um, I think it may be increased, but whatever. Um, and I'll try and get up at, whatever, 7 o'clock, if you're comfortable with that. 
and I'll try and eat in the evening at half five. Have a structure because otherwise you can sit there and the time goes and the time goes and hours pass and the worry can set in and the concern and all the rest of it. You start coming in, playing mind tricks. Hello, my little boy. Come on, then, you bouncer. But by having a structure, some form of structure, you know, the rough time to go to bed, the rough time to get up, the rough time to eat, uh, They go better by having that structure in your life and like I say it doesn't have to be hard and fast you know you're not at school ah oh, it's lovely so pleased to get out after seeing the rain so that's another way of surviving the lockdown really and another way again without being hard and fast on yourself is to have something that you want to achieve in this lockdown the reason why i say that i spoke to a number of people after the last lockdown and they didn't do what they said they was going to do and they just said oh i don't know time just went and one of them pe people is here when the last lockdown was here 172 days and um, what's that four months i decided that i was going to read a selection of books and I even got them out and put them on my bookshelf and I never read one never read one single word don't know time just went away from me <laughs> and again it's having that structure if you factor that into the day that um, okay every day between 1 p.m. and 3 p.m. I read and just build that into your day so that the lockdown isn't wasted, you have achieved something, you've done that. Or if you want to lose weight, and again, don't be hard on yourself. Don't say, I've got 30 days, I want to lose two and a half stone. Just say to yourself, okay, we've got this lockdown. I'd like to lose some weight during this lockdown. So let's work at that. Got 30 days. So 30 days can bring you a little bimbo every day. Um, I don't know, less food twice a week. Half size meal once a week. Whatever you want, whatever you, you decide is right for you. And if you can't get out, you still want to lose a little bit of weight. Maybe you're sitting in a chair with a tin of beans in each hand and just pump them up and down and try and do that until your lungs are breathing and your heartbeat's going and you feel a sense of achievement okay 30 days goes by and you've lost two pound three pound five pound what an achievement because I, I tell you what there'll be a lot of people in this 30 days that put on a stone I'll be one of them <laughs> So there's a lot you can do to survive the lockdown. I think communication is key, definitely. And it's nice to hear from people. It's nice to know that you're in their thoughts. It only takes a few seconds. And if it's a 10 minute phone call, it's wonderful. And lastly, um, this bit always gets me into trouble. Have a little think. 
what do I need to adhere to? I know all the rules and regulations. What do I need, really, need to adhere to? What's important? And what can I bend or break the rules a little bit? What can I do that is right for me, feels right for me? They haven't said, they've said you can go out for exercise. They haven't said it's once a day or it's so many yards away from home or whatever. So for me, I take that, that I can go out every single day as many times as I want. And as far as I like, so I will. I absolutely will. And I need to, again, for my mental health, mostly, but also for my spiritual health. Because when we look deeply into it, facts and figures and all the rest of it, is the lockdown because of us? Because we're all carrying the lurgy. We're going to infect people. We're going to make the... Uh, push the national health to the limit. That's what we're told. And when we look at the facts and figures, on Friday there were 78,000 nurses. 78,000 that phoned in sick on Friday. So is it really a case of the national health is virtually closed down? We all know somebody who can't see a doctor. We all know somebody who's had operations cancelled. We all know somebody who's been to a hospital, come back and told us it's absolutely empty, not a soul around. We all know that. So is the lockdown really about the fact that national health doesn't really exist? Or it exists on, on a very, very poor level. Is that the truth? And it seems ridiculous that they're going to allow children to go to school. I know their reasoning and I've heard their reasoning and actually I disagree with it totally. You've got a child that can go to school and potentially touch 200 other children and then come home. So how is that doing anybody any good? But whatever, it is what it is, and I suppose the important thing, how to survive a lockdown, is just to roll with it. You know, just think, okay, it's only for now. We'll just roll with it. We'll just chill out for a while. Let it do its thing, let it pass us by. This way, please, boat. Good boy, that way. I thought I'd turn around because there's a dog. Go that way, that way, please. Don't start being naughty this way. Go on, go ahead. Go ahead. Booty! Oh, God, you bad boy. Go ahead here. 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 Booty! Here. Will you come here now? No, here. Look at him. Go on, here. Go. God, dear. That's not selective deafness, that's really being naughty. Come here. Come here. Yeah, sometimes it's better just to roll with it, just go with it. However, I do think it's going to go on a lot longer than 30 days. What's going to happen, I believe, my, my prediction, is... Um, on the 3rd or whatever it is of December. Booty, will you come here? On the 3rd of December, there won't be a release of the lockdown. They'll put everybody into, do you remember the tiers, one, two, and three? Here, now. Go, go, go. Um, you remember the tiers, one, two, and three? Well, in, Booty, this way! Um, just before this lockdown, Nottingham, they put into, they invented a new one. 
tier three plus. Well, what's that for then, isn't it? Tier four. So what they'll do this way, please. They will um, put us all into tier four. Go ahead. Look at him. And of course, tier four is lockdown till March, that's what I reckon. But we just see, so all we can do for the time being is roll with it, have some structure in your day, and once a day think about your mental health, your physical health, your emotional health, and your spiritual health, because all important, <clears throat> and hope that it's just 30 days. Will you move forward? Right, I'm gonna to have to put them on a lead. Come here, please. Take care then. <laughs> Enjoy your lockdown and be well.